Well, my name is uh, Arnulfo Mar. Uh, my title is uh, Associate Professor of Chemistry, and I'm also the interim director of the chemistry program here at UTB. I've been with uh, uh, UTB since 1990. There is a long uh, tradition among Mexicans from Mexico, Mexican Americans here on the border, by using medicinal plants as, um, uh, to, for the treatment of illnesses. So we were looking at, uh, myself and my students were looking at, uh, at those trends, and then we said, why don't we just really look at it in, in terms of, uh, scientifically? We said, why don't we just um, try to see what plants are being used in the treatment, especially of diabetes, since we have the incidence of diabetes along the border is so high. We said, well, let's, let's apply some of that knowledge uh, you know, about medicinal plants and how or which plants are people using in the treatment of, of, of diabetes. One that people uh, use very commonly is nopal, the cactus. Okay, so that's one of the, the, one of the first that we studied. And then we studied savila. Uh, and then we studied the, um, the, the seeds from the, from the ebony tree. There's another plant uh, called chaya that is also used, you know, the, just the leaves. Uh, people make teas and they swear that they, by, uh, by drinking the tea, their, their levels of uh, glucose in the, in the blood goes down. I mean, they swear by it. And this, and we also looked at a, the neem plant, which is which is uh, very commonly used in Mexico uh, for the treatment of diabetes. Those are the ones we've been looking at. Although every now and again, when a student comes in, they wants to do research with us. I say, okay, you know what? Why don't you go out there and ask grandma or your aunt or somebody if they know of any plant that can be used for the treatment of diabetes. Maybe it'd be something that we missed, uh, something that we had not cataloged just yet. And some students come up with something really exotic, like, um, you know, any, uh, like the Ceniso. They, they would tell me that it's used for the treatment of diabetes. So it's, we're always open, although we have this catalog that we like to, we like to, um, uh, or we want to analyze. And, and also the plants have to be found around this area. You know, we don't want anything exotic that we cannot get. Most people make a tea. Some people say, well, you know, uh, what we do is that uh, we, uh, we take the leaves, say the leaves, and then we just make a tea. We just boil the, 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 uh, the leaves, make a tea, and drink the tea. So that's what we do. We take the, the leaves, boil them, um, uh, um, extract the, what we call the tea, basically, and then uh, con uh, concentrate a bit and then we do the analysis for sugars, amino acids, proteins, and, and so on. That's simply done. That. Now, if, the, if that plant shows uh, or it indicates something peculiar about it in terms of the analysis that we've done so far, then we run it through, through a bigger machine, the HPLC, the High Performance Liquid Chromatography, which is very sensitive uh, to, uh, to the, for the detection of compounds. And what we do is that we look for a, a particular set of compounds that we know that well, they've been shown before by all the people that that uh, they, they work in the in the control of, uh, and the control of diabetes. Uh, there's uh, there's two names. Uh, there's there's two acids. Uh, there's gallic acid and ferulic acid. Those are the compounds that are being shown to to help and and they have oxidative um, properties, which is found in in in, uh, in diabetic persons. We want to do uh, um, enzyme analysis. Uh, we want to look at, uh, at using cells. There's a pathway in, 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 in the cells which is involved in the breakdown of glucose, glycolysis. So we want to see if, if uh, our extracts uh, help in the, uh, is to speed up glycolysis, the breaking down of sugar. And there's a lot of work that's being done, especially in, uh, in South America, about medicinal plants. It's a lot of work, and also in Mexico, and in India, and even China. And, uh, well, people just look at, look at it as another, another source of, um, you know, hopefully a cure for diabetes. And everybody's receptive about it. We just have to do the right science and show that this works. Although we don't have, we have not applied our, our, our research. In other words, we, don't, we don't, haven't sent it to a clinic. We have not um, injected this acid into, into people and see what happens to the, to the, to the sugar levels. But... Um, it, the next, our next um, uh, step or the next uh, phase would be to do tissue culture and take, take, uh, take cells and add these uh, components and see what happens to the metabolism of the cells as far as the sugar is concerned. I was born in, uh, in Matamoros right across the border. I attended uh, Texas Southmost College back in 74, 74 to 77. 
Then I transferred to the University of Houston where I got my BS degree in biophysical sciences and then I went on to a PhD also at the University of Houston. And then I did two years as a postdoc at UTMD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston. 